There we go. Thanks for the heads up. everybody. How's it going? I don't know if anything was said in the chat before I before I jumped on, but uh, yeah, welcome everybody. Hmm. It's a uh, Hot, it's hot in the Bay Area right now. Just getting a somewhat unexpected late May heat wave. It's usually pretty mild at this time of, at this time of year. But we'll get through it. Cool, okay, well, yeah, let's get started. Welcome everybody, it's Wad Wednesday. And let's click on this little, this little booger. Uh, and then hit the random button. Fortress of Doom. Oh, this is a Terry Wad, so we're not gonna bother with it. Fortress of Doom by Doomlord20. Yep. Yep, nope, not gonna... Not this time, Satan. Alright, random once again. Change All by Thomas Evans, a.k.a. Weirdo. Uh, okay, and so this is a music... This looks like, yeah, this is a music pack from 1995. And what... The music came from a bunch of MIDI files hanging around on my hard drive. I decided it was time to put them to use. You'll find some music derived from Nine Inch Nails, Offspring, Michael Jackson, Janet Jackson, and Madonna, as well as various music you've heard you've never heard before. Hmm. Challenge accepted. Okay. Well, yeah. This is just one of those random music packs of '90s MIDI. We're gonna get some MIDI files from 1995, and that's great. We love that. All right. Random level? No, oh, this is in the prefabs directory, which is very unused. Um, 
Window over window special effect. This might be a famous one, um, although maybe not, because I thought, um, yeah, maybe. Okay, Eric James Roberts, a.k.a. Rykrob from 1998. Misc author info, I like goats and llamas. That's good. And, yeah, okay. I thought somebody like notable had done the the window over window special effect thing like Ika Karenan or or something like that but okay well I don't know you know this is always uh this is always amusing to see so yeah let's jump in and play windows over window special effect it's a it's in prefabs but it sounds like a demo map uh with some 90s midi I forgot to check which, uh... Yeah, this is, this is familiar, actually. Yep, okay, that's... Actually, that might not be rendering faithfully. Yeah, maybe not. Maybe not. But this Geo work, this Geo is, is kind of cool. Yeah, I feel like this is glitching out in a way that I have seen other demo maps not. Yeah, everybody was very... Oh, I see, I see, yeah. So you're using just, like, the blank line defs. Right, so there's not actually... The actual ceiling of this thing is the top of the windowsill. So you're using, like, the single mid span worth of this. Uh, which is cute. And yeah, I'm curious as to why this thing does show up. Because if it was looking through to just, you know, the sky. Um, yeah, I think the intended effect is just this right here looking like a window. Which, you know, if you're standing down here, you're like, well, wait, that can't be because there's a floor down there. And then there would also be a floor here and then two ceilings right here and here. But no, it's using the old, you know, it's a little bit like the... Uh, the Doom, the, the vanilla bridge type effect, but put to a different use and carefully camouflaged with texture alignment. Okay, well that was, uh, and yeah, I didn't catch what that um, what that MIDI was, so we'll, we'll keep the MIDI pack in the rotation. But yeah, that was Window Over Window Special Effect by Eric James Roberts. Uh, okay, next is Pietro, rest in peace, Pietro Tarricone, Walter Damon Confalonieri. Um, yeah, who is, of course, a well-known, uh, you know, Doom mapper. Um, this map is from 2010. Good night, sweet prince of Italian trash TV. Okay, so this is maybe like an actor who passed away in 2010. And... Yeah, Doom Wiki for Doom comic. Okay, all right. Okay, well, yeah, this might be sort of a joke map, but, you know, this is by an established mapper, so, yeah, let's just do the thing. Uh, yeah, let's play R.I.P. Pietro Tarricon Tarricone. It's playing like the, it's playing like the Doom one. Oh, you know, yeah, it's probably, that's probably coming from the music pack. Oh, but what's going on? Yes, this is another shitty speed map. And I'll bet this requires like the community chest for texture pack or something, doesn't it? Or I don't know, yeah. This is uh this this checkerboard material is just what you always see in uh, and yeah, we're getting black hole sun here too, so. And this map only appears to have, like, two monsters in it. Oh, but maybe these are custom monsters. It's just us and our buddy, the Archvile. Alright, yeah, so this is kind of set, like, I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll have to check up on the... Did anything... Yeah, this is probably expecting, like, the community chest for texture pack. I, I hate it when they do that. They just don't include the textures with it, but... I guess that's a uh, monster detected door won't open. Okay, that's kind of cool. Using some probably ACS scripting to uh, play 
lock a door. And then, okay, yeah, and that's that's the Doom comic, as we all we all know and love it. Um, yeah, that's a bummer. I don't know, there's some sort of missing texture thing going on here. Um, oh, it's and it's made for skull tag. So it's using, it, yeah, it's expecting skull tag textures. I should have looked up here right at the top. Oh well, well yeah, we got we got a little bit of cool stuff and and a black hole sun midi. So yeah, so let's try yet again with another one. Sometimes you just yeah you pull up. Okay, this is a hexen map. Uh, this looks like a bug fix though, so I don't know if I can necessarily get to. Yeah. Also, I don't know if I want to play a hexen map, but. Mega's Castle of Death for Hexen revised. Yeah, so this is just like probably this map, the like Mega Hex One dot wad has multiple maps in it, and this is just like a fix for it. And they just uploaded it to. Yeah. Okay, this person is interested. Looking for someone who is local or close to the city of Ontario with a 14.4 modem. I would be interested in linking up via modem to test out some of my newest levels. I don't know if, yeah, they're just looking to make sure that stuff plays nicely or whatever, but um, okay. Anyway, all right, moving moving along to, until we get something. All right, now we got a heretic level. Uh, all right, this is from 19 Heretic Unwad. I don't know what that means. Uh, this is from January 1996. My first attempt at a wad. Hope it doesn't suck too mightily. And yeah, this is Heretic E1M1. Other hi mom. <coughs> All right. Well, sure. You know, let's let's just give this Heretic map from 1996. Let's give it a shot. And let's tell it Heretic. And uh, yeah. All right, and I don't think this is necessarily going to be... Yeah, this is not replacing... Um, this is not replacing any uh, of the heretic music, so we're not getting the... Okay, this is a good sign. We're just being given all the weapons. All the weapons. All right, I'm shooting those steel balls at these mummies. These imps take like two of these green crossbow bolts to take out. It's just. It's perhaps a mistake. Burly boys. And yeah, just lava balls. It's fun to make a whole bunch of lava. A Dave Wad. <laughs> That's just good. A Dave Wad. It certainly is. Can't take that from it. Oh. A water pool with the with the running water. Ooh, this is this water's running quickly. Oh, and look at that. It's uh Oh, this is weird. I feel like maybe this sector accidentally has current on it or something. I mean or I don't know, maybe it's intentional. Uh, so yeah, this is a big rectangular area. There's a room in here. We have... No, we don't have the blue key, but we have the yellow key. The gold. Whirlpool type thing that we get sucked into. Oh, we 
teleported. Okay, I don't know if I was supposed to go there or what, but... Now over here, it's just a completely nonsensical arrangement of teleporters. That's fine. Yeah, I think this is meant to be a whirlpool. Wow, is this like an intentionally super hard to climb thing here. Whoa! Oh, okay. All right. So I can step all the way up here, but it's, it's it's quite hard to because of the weird water current thing. It is definitely something in the mapper's vocabulary in Heretic that is just not in Vanilla Doom. Just this whole idea of like a zone having a velocity that it puts on the player and like it usually only makes sense in water I guess you could also use it for wind I forget if any of the vanilla heretic maps use it as like a wind effect kind of thing but um, why do I keep teleporting back here okay sure I'll take the tome of power Probably sit on it until I get to the end of the level and realize I didn't use it. Bag of holding. Alright. Okay, that's not the way. Okay. Sneakman's. Okay, this looks like a Tome of Power situation. Um, Alright, I'm going to turn you into chickens. And... Yeah, let's use the Tome of Power. Oh geez, I just want to shoot you with a big steel ball. I don't know what's going what's going on there. Mm, yeah. See, not actually not actually good at capitalizing on tone with power. Because I am a heretic noob. I do like that this guy has a charge attack. Uh, yes, the bag of holding is definitely definitely originates in D and D. All right. <clears throat> cool. Oh, I should have grabbed this thing. Dang it. Well, and there is our blue key. Some bonus goodies. Okay. So do we just go back the way that we came here? It's probably what we do, right? Um, yeah, this level design, it's, uh, it's simply throwing out some different shapes and stuff. The author is having fun with different, you know, shapes of features in the middle of rooms. There tends to just be, like, a big box and then, you know, something kind of interesting in it. Uh, okay, now we're back here. 
Hmm. I can help but feel I missed something, but... You know what? Let's just... Late in the game here, let's just... Actually, you know, there could still be a lot of this level ahead. I honestly don't know. Yeah, I guess I need a green key. Oh, my tome power's still going. Okay, so what am I... Yeah, I think, like, this is the way forward. Yeah, so I come out here, and then... Oh, when did you show up? Alright, I got a chicken egg. Okay, so there's like three teleporters here. Do each of these take me someplace different, or is this just like... No, it doesn't look like they did. Nope. Yeah, okay. So, hmm... Is this where I came in? Yeah, it is. Okay. And where does this lead? Okay, this takes me in here. Yeah, okay. And so this is up here. That almost feels like a deathmatch uh, addition. Yeah, where do I get the where do we get the green key? And yeah, I can kind of see I got the auto map. And I can kind of see hard to read against this parchment. Where do I get into... Yeah, it looks like there's something that fits really snug up against that little kind of backspace that I was in. Um, right, well, I'm just going to do like the full on... Oh, that's right. This is a is Heretic, which has different cheat codes. Um, all right, I just want to be able to read the auto map. Okay, so like one of these things is going to let me teleport to a new area, right? Baffling. Okay. So we're like here, and it kind of looks like there's like this weird little thin shell around this, but this might just be, yeah. Okay, maybe it's... Is that anything? No. Yeah. Yeah, I don't get it. <clears throat> well, I guess we could go in here again. structure. Oh, oh, look at that. Well, okay. Alright. That wasn't a key, exactly, but it's something. Yeah, what's going on in here? This might be, like, little rooms for uh, monster teleport. And yeah, there's, like, this whole area, like, right around here that... To get into. Yeah, like there's clearly something. 
Okay, so that's this. Okay, just extra extra goodie room. Teleport destination in it. Hmm. Oh yeah, see a cheese. Thanks for dropping by. Um. All right. Yeah. Like where? Okay. No, I have been here. This is where I fought the. Uh, Big Minotaur. There's like this thing up here. Oh wait, yeah, I have a I have flight. Okay, and now I'm here. Oh ho, oh, look at this. Okay. And now I'm here and this is a thing. Oh! Yeah, I gotta remember that I can that I can fly in this. Yeah, that's not doing me any good. Yeah, okay, while I'm flying, what can I Is there anything cool I can do here? Hmm. <laughs> the water currents still still pull you along. Flying. Oh, it's timing out. Damn, okay. And yeah, it really is possible to just get screwed, isn't it? By, uh,. Well, I don't know. I am kind of tempted to just like, I don't know, just no clip through the wall here and Yeah. All right. Well, we're here now. Maybe we'll find the way that we were intended to come here in. Got a bunch of these melee only enemies in a little cage here. Don't know what's up with that. All right, we got the classic Floating head. No. Good old flamethrower. I supposed to come in here? Maybe it's just some kind of teleporter. Sure is a big area. I could definitely believe it was one of those added to make multiplayer more fun spaces. It's entirely possible that that is the reason that this room exists. Oh yeah, look at this, okay. All right, so where, does, where did this take us? Oh wait, no, we can't. Uh... And we're up here, okay. Yeah, still in the same space, but we're up on the giant platform. Yeah, so we got these 
bozos. Alright. Oh, okay, it's just this one little imp that had one hit point left. So where... Okay, if we jump down from here... Gotta use some of the aqueduct mosaic textures. Very steep staircase. Okay, this little weird dealy. Need a green key to open this door. Boo. Hella eggs. Hello, flight power-ups. And yeah, we're just in an absolutely massive open space with almost nothing in it. Okay. This is... This is a whole other level of sparse. That's where we teleported in? Yes. Okay, yeah, what's the... What's going on in this area? Alright, there's a big, long river that's kind of going down and down. We're getting pushed around by this water current. And there is our buddy, the Green Key. Okay, and then that takes us back to here. Now we can go through here. And now we're here. Yeah, hmm. All right. What could be so wonderful that is, is behind this door? It was one of the stone heads, you know, or whatever they're called, Iron Lich. Okay, well, yeah, no secrets to find in that map. So I guess the one thing that I can't figure is like how to teleport into this, how to teleport like right here. That is unknown. And yeah, I feel like I explored pretty thoroughly, but it just wasn't, just was not, a, oh, wait a minute. Is there, I see like a little thing in the middle here. Is this, is there a teleporter like right in the middle of this? Yep. Okay. That's, that's what I missed. Okay. Well, I don't feel so bad about missing that because that is, that is, that's goofy. And then, yeah, like what? I go here, I teleport here. Yeah, so you have to just jump into the middle of the lava with a very hard to see recessed little uh, teleport pad that takes you into this area. And then if you go back this way, oh no, okay, yeah. If you don't have the green key yet, then you go here. But I guess you still need to get the yellow and blue keys. Yeah, okay. All right, well, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, this is this was a Dave wad. Let's, let's certainly say that about it. Um, and yeah, like, I do feel like, you know, th this is, I, I say it all the time, but like, yeah, you, you can kind of tell this was the first room that the mapper ever built in an editor, probably. And then, you know, things get a little more complex from here. The, the, here, the mapper is like really just getting fancy with all kinds of interestingly shaped sectors. And then it's like, okay, well, yeah, what if rooms had a more organic shape? So you get this area. And then also I just want to play around with all the water current stuff and just kind of see how big a space I can make. Uh, yeah, 
you know, and then just, uh, and then have these kind of more cramped interior spaces. So yeah, you know, like this is, this is definitely not bad for a, uh, you know, for a first level. Um, you know, I think that this one, the, the, the teleporter in the lava really lost me. I definitely would have just given up, uh, if not for, for cheat codes and so forth there. But, uh, but yeah, cool. Okay. Well, that was Heretic Unwad by Dave Bolin. And, uh, yeah, it's from January of 1996. You know, Heretic was still going strong. I forget if Hexen had come out by this point. I feel like Hexen was maybe late 95 or something. Anyway. Uh, yeah, that wasn't bad. Okay, cool. Well, yeah, let's uh, hit random again. And let's keep our music pack in there. Uh, this is another map from... Wait a minute, is this... Okay, these, these... The last map and this one were released two days apart in 1996. Uh, presumably by different authors. Ganymede by Robert Kasich. Student at Vienna University of Technology, Austria... Description, a masterpiece of Doom level designed. Um, yeah, additional credits to some early source port authors who might have just been part of Team TNT at that point. Uh, new music, Carmina Burana by Carl Orff, a classic. Uh, what you won't find in this wad, Cacodemons, the Redheads, I hate them. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. Don't, don't listen to this. Don't listen to this mean mapper. Okay, well, yeah, all right. And yeah, there's a whole story here. You're a student at Ganymede University of Technology experimenting with time travel. By mistake, you travel about 50 years into the future and uh, stuff goes wrong. All right, we got some hints here. Miscellaneous and the name of all Doom level authors. Don't cheat. Uh, cool. This Doom level is in no way connected to my studies at the Vienna U University of Technology. Uh, well, that's that's kind of interesting. I mean, I don't know if the, the author is just, you know, offering sort of a common sense disclaimer there, or if the layout of this map is maybe going to be based on uh, uh, Robert's university. That would be sort of interesting. I'm always interested to see college campuses and offices and stuff like that as do maps. Well, cool. Uh, yeah, let's try Ganymede. Uh, dot wad by Robert Kasich from 1996 E1 M1 and yeah we've heard Carmina Burana before but yeah let's uh, let's see what uh, let's see if the music pack throws in anything interesting okay <clears throat> uh, that's right it's a Doom one what oh my gosh this crashed Z Doom map loader Map loader, flood zone. This might be during like the node building section. Oh man, that's a bummer. That is a bummer. Gosh, I wonder. Well, this might be one for the. Let me see if I can launch it again here. Um, yeah, are we getting anything here? Let me see if it can actually even just like read this uh, UNM1. Yeah. Huh. Well, that's odd. So wait, did starting... Did opening map E1M1 from the console... We got some missing textures, but that's not... That's. Huh, weird. Okay, well... Alright, and yeah, we are getting Carmina Burana. Right, because I guess the, the music pack that we had is from... Uh, is for Doom 2. Right, we have a ceremonial circle of barrels here. I'm just gonna leave that be. Yeah, I, you know, I am not a Kako hater, obviously. Kako demons are my friends. Um, yeah, okay, here we are on Ganymede. I feel like Doom levels, you know, between original Doom and final Doom, they kind of mined out like all of the remotely human inhabitable bodies of our solar system. Oh my gosh, so many chain, so many shotgunners, and we're in a maze. Nope, oh, that's where we came in. Oh man, don't know if I can do a maze right now.
jibs. This does have me wondering if it's based off of a real life uh, university campus, though. Hella imps back here. I don't think they can step through that teleporter. So I'm just going to be a cheapo here and uh, just, just pick them all off. Oh dear. Oh dear. Oh, this is bad. Uh, well, am I screwed here? Ah. Oh man, I'm all the way back here. Damn it. I really should have saved before I did that clearly foolish thing. Actually, I'm just going to blow that up so that I don't have to, so that it's not there. Talking about time travel. Interesting space here. It's going to take us into this big old space. Okay, yeah. And there's just hella demons. Definitely, definitely the more the merrier school of monster placement. There's just way too many monsters in this room for it to not just be a very crowded party. dudes. Yeah, man. There's something seriously just 90s about someone who goes to, like, a technical school listening to Carmina Burana as a, as a midi as they work on their Doom level. That's just... Could easily have been me. for some of this texture. Hmm. Yeah, this layout is definitely a bit of a puzzle. This is clearly a train track. Nicely executed, honestly. Oh, and now we've got the, the tunnels. Yes, the, the flooded tunnels around... around the subway or whatever. Oh yeah, see you, see you later, uh, Arjuna. Have a good one. Just as we're getting to the climactic portion of Carmina Burana. The smash cut to movie title portion of Carmina Burana. Oh, look, we're outside. And yeah uneven distribution of health in this level. I am definitely kind of hurting. Well, it's going to be in here. Can't go in there. Ooh, look at this. Classic coffin. Here's a little resupply. I'll take it. Yeah, I do just really love where there are these moments, even in early Doom levels, where the author is like, wait a minute. Sorry, I gotta take care of this rowdy boy. Oh my gosh, you two. Oh my gosh, they keep coming. 
Shotgun harvest. Okay, there's even more stuff going on there, but I, all I wanted to say about this was just there are points even in early Doom levels where mappers of even modest skill are like, wait a minute, I have kind of like a full 3D editor here and I can make something that people will recognize. So I'm just going to do that and I'm going to spend detail on it even if it does have to be off in its own little room. And I love it. They made a cool little Dracula coffin that like adds a little bit of, you know, it's like what, what's going on. Is this a... Is this a, is this a, is this a college campus that's being haunted by vampires? Well, I mean, there's a, there's obviously demons and stuff going on as well, but maybe that Dracula is behind all of this. If they were doing experiments with time travel, maybe, you know, they went back in time and then Count Dracula hijacked their time machine. And then Count Dracula went to the future, let's say and brought back some demons to have minions. Because what Dracula doesn't want to have minions? All right, yeah, how do we get, how do we get in here? Are we meant to get in here? Okay, yeah, I and mean, this is just a cool structure. You know, it's the kind of thing that you might build if you're sort of exploring the the limits of the engine and stuff. The composition is just very, you know, like, it's just like, what is this? It's a big space with a thing and, but you know, it's fine. All right, so this is like courtyard thing. Like, I think we got what we came here for, right? Yeah, we've been in there. I don't know if I've been down here. Oh yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. It's just piles of, piles and piles of enemies. Oh, jeez, and yeah, the, the, the map is so stingy with health. Yeah, that's right, this is where I got the key. The map is so stingy with health that, you know, I'm just in real rough shape by this point, and I don't know if I necessarily have much recourse. All right, maybe maybe this is a maybe there's a better angle to take on this room from. Oh yeah, okay. Uh, this is not a good angle to fight these to fight all these nerds from. Jeez. run through here. Okay, this is just... Oh my god. Shotgunners. Shotgunners, the only Doom enemy. In this level, I will prove conclusively that shotgunners are the only Doom enemy. No! Alright, this is doable though. Not if the RNG decides that I am going to be hit and take full damage from all of those, uh, from all of these dweebs. Oh my god, there's so many shotgunners. Buddy. No. Uh, this is not the FDA recommended safe amount of shotgunners. Oh, look at them, they're just piling down the stairs like kids on Christmas morning. Oh my god, no!
All right. Oh my gosh. Can't even tell how many dudes there are here. Oh no. <laughs> all right, all right. I have made progress though. How many and how many monsters are in this level? 329. Cool. That's too many. As a level designer, my feedback is that's too many. All right, all right. Is that is that all of yes, the triumph plays as oh, you can just tell there's still just a trillion of them. Yep. Same to you, buddy. All right, but we are in a new area, and this is kind of interesting. Oh, is this like the swimming pool? This this feels like the swimming pool with like bleachers and yeah, like for competition swimming or something. I am just gonna gobble up that mega sphere, that supercharge. Yeah, all right. Once again, as I've lamented many times, this is a Doom 1, a, a mid-90s Doom 1 level that just refuses to give you the chain gun. There are so many situations where the chain gun would have been useful here. Not getting it. Possibly never going to get it. It's a bummer. It's a sadness. Yeah. Um, okay. Okay, well, yeah, I mean, I guess... Did I get anything out of that, even? I mean, I guess I got access to the swimming pool. Yeah, yeah, all right. Then we can go up here. Hmm. Ah, oh, man. Gotta remember those, those health kits. Alright, it looks like some imps are flushing out of the, the imp buffers. I mean this is this is obviously like just bare bones sort of wolf 3D style corridor design, but one thing I do like about it to deal with these boys. Um, Okay. Um, when I was here, you know, you just have an intersection and you're hearing monsters all around, and so you don't know what direction they're going to be coming from. You know, and I had sort of lost my immediate familiarity with this space, so, you know, I think this is one situation where a fairly maze-like situation can actually... You know, it serves a greater purpose of like, you know, even though that, that it's sort of a bad practice in general, it serves this greater purpose of like can disorienting the player and making them like, you know, cover all the angles as they go into this, you know, intersection. All right. I'm assuming it's okay that I blow these up. Yeah, this, this feels like it might be like, I don't know, like the science lab or something. I don't know. I don't know anything about this uh, about this university. Oh, here just here doors going on all around. Okay, and then I go here, and yeah, this this was where I was before. Oh, now we're back to the start. We blew up the barrels, so thankfully the run does not end there. Okay. All right. So yeah, this is like sort of the hub for the whole the whole map. Some unusual texturing decisions. Oh, there's the chain gun right there. Could I have just gone here right from the start? 
Yes, I could have. I could have just gone right in here and gotten the chain gun. All right, fair enough, fair enough. Still need the red key. Oh man, having a chain gun is the sweetest thing. Oh, this is cool. There's a little bit of E1M3 style, like you can peer through a window and see something up on a pedestal and you're like, how do I get in there? That is classic. Oh my God. <laughs> All right, that is clearly a university lecture hall situation. And, uh, oh man, I need to get, I need to get nerds like infighting this Baron, right? Just let him have it. All right, they don't, they don't care. All right, I am going to take down a bunch of you punks. There we go. This is what I could have used the whole time. I was just fighting droves of shotgunners. Oh my god, there's so many. Yeah, I'm not feeling great about doing, you know, shooting up what are clearly proxies for students. Yeah. Given that this is something that has now happened in the real world. But, uh, but yeah. All right, that was certainly a lot of shotgunners. And now is this like the little teacher's quarters back here? Oh, all right, and here is... Okay, okay, cool, yeah, right. So the red key is up on that pedestal, but I gotta do something to bring it down. This is, this is the kind of level quest I can get behind. I am, however, totally lost in this identical maze. Ooh, look at this. A little kind of storage area. Maybe a little closet back here. I don't know. Yeah, the Baron of Hell was definitely the professor. Professor Fireball teaching students how to be, you know, advanced demons. Oh, look at this. All right, so, yeah, and this feels like, you know, just in the overall flow of this map, God, yeah, this is this is pretty extensive. Um, <clears throat> it kind of feels like, you know, like turning off of the lecture hall into this space sort of felt like we were going behind the scenes, and then we see this one thing and we're like, you know, it feels like we're getting deep into... So actually what this feels like, yeah, it's... Uh, it honestly feels a little bit like an old favorite game of mine, uh, The Lurking Horror, which is um, an Infocom text adventure um, by, uh, what was it, Dave, Dave Lebling? Oh no! Aw oh, man. Uh, okay, I think it crashed when I died and tried to reload. Uh, let's see, this was Ganymede? Yeah, it was Ganymede. Don't crash, no! Okay, it just seems to be totally random. Um, all right, I think what I'm gonna try to do is I'm gonna launch it one more time. And is it gonna work this time if I... No, see, like, sometimes it loads and sometimes it doesn't. Damn. That is a shame. I was really digging that. Um, well, let's um, let's do this. Let's see. Was this this was Doom GI Ganymede? Yeah. Let's open this up. Let's open it up in the in the editor at least, just because I wanted to see like how the rest of the of the level goes. Uh, no, actually, we don't want Doom two. Uh, yeah, cool. All right. So, yeah, there was like this whole... All right, there, we were in this room. And, right, we cleaned out all these guys. And then we went in here. And, yeah, I was running around. It looks like there's a hell maze kind of thing. Yeah, I do want to, like, post this on the forums. It's possible that the map is just totally corrupt. Although the fact that Slade could open it sort of indicates that you know, it's not just hopelessly corrupted or anything. Uh, you know, I saw those missing texture errors when GZ Doom opened it successfully, 
uh, but that I mean, you know missing textures is, is fine. The engine can definitely cope with that. Um, cool. Okay. Well, yeah. All right. It looks like at the end of this kind of hell maze thing, you face the cyber demon. Naturally. So yeah, what I was saying about the lurking horror is that this this it sort of sets up a similar conceit here, which is that beneath this college, you know, this is a college campus basically. And it's got, you know, just corridors and classrooms and students and common student areas and common areas and a lecture hall and all that sort of stuff. And then there's some but there's something sinister beneath all of it, and it ends up being like this portal into a demonic place or whatever and there's an evil demon beneath this college campus controlling all of it. Uh, yeah, look at all these look at all these engaged students. <clears throat> um, and yeah, and I super love that. I really dig that. Uh, yeah, Lurking Horror is is a is a pretty enjoyable text adventure sort of thing. It's got it's more Lovecraft mythos than like you know Hell Demons and stuff. And it's based on the game's world is actually a a near copy of the MIT campus. It has an infinite hallway and a dome. And like student dorms and all, all, just all you know, yeah. Like it's laid out like that because the author of that game uh, attended MIT, basically. You know, and Infocom was based in Cambridge, I think. So, you know, it was just like the hometown thing turning into like this cool Lovecraftian mystery. Anyway, it's in this vein, and I enjoy that connection a lot. Man, this level had a lot of shotgunners. It's a tough. It's that's that's. I mean, here at least it's in the service of a gag. But down in, like, the tunnels here, yeah, like, this area, this was just completely ridiculous. Yeah, all these guys. And then they must be, um, okay, yeah, I guess what was happening here was they were up in the stands watching the, the swimming match. But you're never going to see them like that because you're going to aggro them, and then they're all going to pour in through this door and go down here. And then they're just going to be popping out right here, and you're like... Why does this stairway have infinite dudes? Um, but yeah, I mean, on the whole, you know, like I do enjoy, I, I enjoy the the conceit of the map and just you know, a lot of things about it. So, so yeah, that was cool. That was a good one. Um, I and yeah, I hope I don't know. Maybe this is like a valid bug in GZ Doom that's keeping it from opening certain weirdly formed old maps. It does have a ton of markers in it. But that shouldn't, I mean, these are basically zero byte little entries. I don't know. And we got our MIDI Carmina Burana. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, yeah, that was, um, let's go back to the launcher here. That was Ganymede by uh, Robert Casey. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to, how to pronounce the author's last name there. But uh, yeah, that was, that was enjoyable. That was cute. That was cool. Um, student at Vienna University of Technology in Austria. Uh, yeah, cool. Good stuff. The cacodemons were missed, but, uh, okay, no areas filled with acid. That's, you know, uh, I'm always uncertain if it's the right time to take these. Yeah, okay, yeah. Cool, okay, well... Uh, yeah, all right. Well, that was those were those are some good levels that we played. Ganymede and then Heretic Unwad by Dave Bolin from 1996. And then, yeah, just some stuff that, yeah, like this was basically just a single room kind of thing and it didn't work outside of Skulltag. And then we played like the little window over window effect map. Um, and then... Yeah, okay, this was the music pack, and then the first thing that we drew today was the Terry Wad, which we did not play, and nothing of value was lost. Okay, well, cool. Uh, yeah, thanks for joining me, as always, and uh, yeah, like, have a good week, and, you know, just take care of each other, and take care of yourselves, and uh, be well, and I will see you all next week. Have a good one, folks. <laughs>